Hello, boys and girls. I am Ms. Moran, and welcome back to your math lesson. Remember, all of this week, we are reviewing our 2D shapes. So let's do a quick review, and then I'll show you what your homework is. Today, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to review the shapes. And remember, we're doing the 2D shapes, the flat shapes, all right? So I'm going to show you a picture of a shape, and you tell me the name of the shape, and try to give me the answer before I give it to you, all right? So what shape is this? That is an oval. What shape is this? Triangle. What shape is this? Rhombus. What shape is this? Circle. And this one? Star. And this one? Square. What about this one? rectangle and this one hard good job so now i'm going to show you um real world objects and you're going to try to tell me what shape are they okay you got to pay close attention and look at it okay all right so what shape is this it's gonna it looks like a triangle right oops where is it Okay, here it's a triangle. It has three sides. One, let me hold it correctly. One, two, and three. And it has three corners or vertices. One, two, and three. Good job. Um, what shape is this? Is there all shape in what 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 shape do you think it is? The balloon, the cup? I think that's like a piece of candy or something like that. It is all shaped like a heart. What about this? Yeah, the whole pizza. The whole pizza and the clock in the bottom are all shaped like a circle. And remember, circles have no sides and no corners. What shapes are all of these things? There's a starfish and a cookie and some toys here. They're all shaped like a star. Good job. What about this? We have a book. There's a book, a waffle, and some die or dice. They are all shaped like a square. A square has four sides. One, two, three, and four with the four corners. One, two, three, and four. And we know this is a square because all of the sides are the same size. Okay, what about this one? We have a watermelon, an Easter egg, and a picture. Right, there's a picture. So all of them are shaped like an oval. Good job. And remember, ovals are like the circles. They have no sides and no corners or vertices. All right, now here, this is like the uh, electrical outlet, a welcome mat, and a sign that we see out in the streets when we're driving with mom and dad. They're all shaped like a what? Like a rectangle, right? Remember, the rectangle is looks a little bit similar like the square, but the rectangle actually has um, two small sides and then two long sides. That's how we know it's a rectangle, okay? And the rectangle also has four sides, one, two, three, four, and four corners, one, two, three, and four. All right. So here's our last one. We have some um, wood shapes here. Then this kind of looks like a, this is a necklace. And then this one looks like a sponge. And they're all shaped like a what? They're all shaped like a rhombus. And I know we haven't talked about the rhombus, but the rhombus also has um, four sides. One, two, three, and four, and four corners. One, two, three, and four. 
but we know this is a rhombus and, and it's not a square and it's not a rectangle. We know it's a rhombus because the rhombus kind of looks like a diamond, right? And some kids call it diamond, but the correct word, word that I like to hear for math will be rhombus, right? Okay, so now that we went over all those 2D shapes, um, I'm going to talk to you about your homework. So for today's homework, you're going to have eight slides here. And we're going to be looking at real life objects that are going to be right here on this wall of this barn. And we're going to decide if it's the, if this thing is shaped like a circle, a square, a rectangle, or a triangle. So this one right here is a stamp. And looking at it, to me, it looks like a square. So I'm going to grab this oval right here. And I am going to put it around the square because it looks like a square to me. That's the way you're going to do your homework. So you're going to look at this object and decide if it's shaped like this one, this one, this one, or this one. You move your oval. Okay? So here's another one. You're looking at this at this object and decided what shape does it look like. There's another one. When you're doing this one, this might be tricky. I'm not talking about this part of the hanger. I am talking about this part. What shape does it look like? And here's another one. Same thing here. This is where we're looking at, right here. This real life object, which is a TV, what shape does it look like? And let me see. And here, you're looking at the shape of this calculator right here and deciding, is, is, does it look like a circle, a square, rectangle, or a triangle? This is the object we're looking at, and we're moving this oval, and we're putting it in one of these shapes, okay? And here's the last one. We're looking at this shape right here. We're not looking at this one, not this door. This is like a washing machine. We're looking at the whole thing. What shape is it? All right. Just wanted to explain those because some of them are a little confusing. So that is your homework for today. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you here tomorrow. We are going to continue reviewing our 2D shapes. Bye.